New at six, a fatal accident in Lufkin is under investigation after the driver of an 18 wheeler died after crashing into an auto zone this morning. It happened on South Timberland Drive in Lufkin. The driver has been identified as 62 year old Brian Galladay of St. Louis, Missouri. Galladay's family told officers that he had a history of heart problems. KDK's Lauren Margolis spoke with some employees at that store and shows us the damage. A St. Louis man is dead and a Lufkin auto zone is destroyed after an 18 wheeler drove straight through this entire store. The truck driver was headed southbound on Timberland, uh, had a heart attack, left the roadway and you know, tore down two or three telephone poles. He then crashed into this store, leaving behind all of this damage. Products once stacked on shelves, now a pile of debris on the ground. Pieces of the roof and walls scattered everywhere. What once was a solid building is now unrecognizable. I wake up and see our group chat for all the employees and I'm like, I called her and I'm like, is this for real? Because we joke a lot, you know, and it's for real. Management contacted employees, letting them know that a truck crashed through their store, but none of them had any idea of the damage until getting here and seeing it for themselves. And this is what we woke up to this morning. It's very devastating to be here and I'm just glad everybody's okay. The 18 wheeler finally came to a stop in some trees at Kiwanis Park where officers and firefighters found the driver dead. I'm very sorry for the man that we lost in this tragic accident. It's really sad and I pray for his family. The truck was hauling 40,000 pounds of bananas. Now people stopping by to take them by the box. Right now it's just like still it's kind of in shock. Shock. <laughs> yeah. shock, completely shocked and don't really know how to feel or what to do right now. The store opens at 7.30 a.m., but employees say sometimes managers come in even earlier, around the same time that the crash happened, feeling grateful they didn't that morning. Lauren Margolis, KTK News.